Hi, I'm Rhonda. And I'm Angie. We're Adventures in Nomadness here at Craven Farm as work campers. And that's Tallulah, if you can hear her in the background. <laughs> Who's Tallulah? We'll show you. So we do lots of different things here, and the first thing we do is feed the animals. But before we get started on that, let's explain what work camping is. So work camping was kind of a, a term that's developed, uh, that's used really kind of uh, in relation or relative to RVs. Uh, work camping, there's work camper sites, there's all kinds of sites that you can find work camping gigs on. But basically a lot of employers have discovered that, hey, hiring, or campers or full-time RVers, giving them a spot to, le to live and then paying them is a really great way to go because you can get really good high quality mature people for short periods of time. Uh, we're working on a farm for a month and we found this on the work camper site. This is kind of funny because we're actually in the same town that we lived in for nine years. Our condo is literally like two, three miles away. Yeah, if even that. So, uh, but this worked out great because we got back from Scotland and we didn't want to drive three days to Montana for the sugar beet harvest and when really looking at the reviews and, and everything um, that had to do with the sugar beet harvest this job looked like a lot more fun and we're definitely having a lot, lot of fun a lot more variety yeah we're doing a lot of different things so this is how our day typically starts Cuddle kittens. Rhonda's laughing at me. <laughs> Who doesn't love cuddling kittens first thing in the morning? While I'm cuddling kittens, Rhonda is getting a wheelbarrow. <laughs> I got you, girl. A goat day. I made it up, but they're really poor. <laughs> what do you think you're trying to do? I don't think so. No. What you doing? Um, cleaning out pig pen. Pig poop. Stinks. So meet Tallulah. She's a cooney cooney pig. And she's really, really sweet. And tail wags and everything. She's more into our food right now. She always poos one spot. <laughs> what do you think about that? Boy, go get your good boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. I know. I know. This is Lucy's real first encounter with a kitten. So the batch of kittens, the five that we get to care for every day. We're starting to slowly bring one over at a time to the RV. That's our day off, so we have a little bit more time to spend with them. And that's good because they need a little bit more people time right now, but the dogs are not used to being around cats or kittens. And Lucy is like a, she's being good, but she's all wound up. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, no blitz, come here. No, no. Come here. <laughs>
Barista time? Yeah, it's barista time. <laughs> we just got done feeding the animals. Rhonda just made her mocha. And, and of course we washed our hands. Of course we did. <laughs> yeah, so this is another part of our job. We just learned this yesterday. Animal caretakers and baristas. This is kind of fun. And now, this is the dangerous part. Now, we get to make our own lattes every day here. What you doing? Now we are helping to strip the leaves off the bottom parts of the corn stalks so that the little kiddos don't cut themselves. Ah, it hurts. Anyway, these are kind of abrasive. And yeah, this is, this is an interpretive uh, maze for small children. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm impressed with their design with it and everything. And there's warning signs for not touching the stalks because they can cut you, but... Exactly what Rhonda said. Kids anyway, don't. Kids we got don't. work to do. Come on. Yeah. Go to it. I make a good daddy, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> you, you rob, you, 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 oh, your sorry. Wife, your wife? No, oh, I'm looking oh. for a boy. Where's <laughs> Mr. Superman? <laughs> what we're walking out here for is pumpkins, right? Yeah. All right, on. So, who wants to hear the story of pumpkins yeah. out here? All right. So, Farmer Mark was out on his tractor, and his tractor broke down. He gets off his tractor, and he hears a voice behind him. Farmer Mark, turn around. He turned around, and there was a woman way out in this field that had a tall and yeah. a long it's dress. Really clean. Yeah, I know. It's pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah. And this, <laughs> this, this woman out there said, Farmer Mark, I really think you should grow pumpkins. Farmer Mark said, I don't have time to grow pumpkins. I have all these other things to grow. She says, oh, but you must. This is such beautiful property, and I just really think that you'll have lots of kids come out here and visit. And he said, okay, but only on three conditions. Number one, I want you to come out here and help me plant the pumpkins. And she said, okay. He says, number two, you have to come out and help me decorate in here. She said, okay, that well, looks pretty nice, doesn't it? And she helped decorate in here. And Farmer Mark said, okay, number three, you have to come out here and visit when I have children here. So the friendly harvest was just here today. Do you want to meet her? All right, so on the count of three, we're going to yell out, come out, friendly harvest switch, okay? One, two, three, come out, friendly harvest switch. Hi, everybody. Good. How is everybody this morning? Can you wait? Hi. I see you're eating your cookies. Are you having fun so far? Yes. Great. Well, I have another story for you, and that's about when we first started planting pumpkins. Things didn't go all that well because these little tiny cute field mice, as much as I love them, were out there eating up our pumpkins. Very important to get these up in the right way so that they hang in such a way that when you pull them, <laughs> they are not twisted like this one is. <laughs> that was good. Or is it? It's not. It's good. <laughs>
of the cool things I get to do here is drive this big tractor. I don't know if you can see the wagon behind me. But uh, it's a beautiful day. It's still pretty muddy out here. But uh, yeah, this is pretty fun. I couldn't do it all day though, because you have to drive it three miles an hour through the same little loop. So after taking over for Chuck for like a half an hour, I'm like, okay, I'm good. It's fun driving the tractor, but yeah, this is pretty fun. One of the many, many, many things I get to do here. <laughs> yeah, not working. <coughs> <laughs> Messing oh. around. <laughs> Hi. No, we are woofing. Hi. Are. Hi. Best, hey. bo best bosses Guys. ever. Hello. <laughs> 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 <laughs>